Greetings, greetings. This is Body Culinary, and I'm here to um, just share with you how I am moisturizing my locks. So it's even interesting to say uh, that I have locks. Can't believe I have them because it, for the most part, locked on its own, and I didn't really intend to get locks. Um, I had been rocking a loose natural, and um, before that, uh, twists, and early, early on after high school, I cut it all off. Um, to go natural and never look back. So, um, uh, nurturing locks has been like going natural all over again, learning my texture, that it's not gonna be these big, thick conga dreads, which I would have loved, um, but it's always a journey um, in accepting um, my unique expression, you know, how it grows out and just um, leaving it alone. So I am not big on products. I just, I'm not in the mood to buy more products and I'm just really, uh, um, I just prefer to use the fresh natural foods that are coming out of my food prep area. So um, as you can see, I'm growing some wheatgrass down over there on the floor. Um, and I really uh, I have a lot of fun um, using the fresh fruits and vegetables and nuts and seeds that I eat uh, exclusively on my hair and skin. It's how I cleared up a bad case of um, adult acne. So uh, this is what I'm using. Um, on my crown to moisturize. Um, I've heard so many wonderful people speak of rose water, and I tried rose water. Um, I don't have access to fresh roses where I am now, or I'm the type of person that would blend my own. I just love to prepare my own stuff. So I do have this, and as far as distilled water, and water that comes out of the pipes, the best distilled water, the purest water, is gonna be the water that's coming out of fresh fruits and vegetables. So what I did is I combined it with some fresh thyme. You can grow your own. Or you should be able, may be able to find fresh thyme, which is um, antifungal, and I uh, made some fresh cucumber juice, and that's what I'm putting on my crown. So I don't have any products, which is great. Um, if anything, I used to use every now and then a little coconut oil. Um, I will take the different citrus, from um, that I'm using because I use a lot. I have a big, huge compost over there, so and I would make a cream cleanser for my hair and for my skin. So that's all that's on my skin. No lotions, nothing from the health food store. Everything is the food that I'm eating. So that's all I'm doing is spritzing the hair, and I get a lot of more bang for my buck because the rose water. You get these little teeny bottles, and we're paying so much, and it's so much more plastic going into the environment. So. I'm not feeling that. It's just more plastic, more stuff. It's like you're suffocating from stuff and the need to purchase more stuff. It's, it's a bit much. So in any event, I'm just spritzing my hair with the coconut. Coconut. <laughs> uh, with the cucumber and thyme. And I did create, for those of you that are interested in getting rid of your shower caddy, which was the most um, liberating thing, one of the most liberating things I've ever done. So not even buying at this point things from the food co-op. Shout out to uh, Parks of Food Co-op out here in Brooklyn. Um, but um, I don't need to buy any more products. It gets very, very expensive. I can use that for seeds so I can grow something. So I'm spraying. I'm eating lots of cucumbers, which is great for your hair, skin, and nail. And when you don't have any products in your locks, um, my hair feels much lighter. Again, all I used to use every now and then would be a little bit of coconut oil and um, olive oil and I'm just smoothing it you know I had investigative water only washing um, at one point and, but I will use uh, herbs and different things and citrus to make cleanse and that's it I'm just smoothing the follicle down and that's it it's cucumber so it feels light uh, from not having every from not having um, buildup in my hair so I don't have any buildup and then things get caught in my hair very easily when I go to the carpenter to get um, wood chips uh, for my compost. The dust gets caught in my hair. My hair is an interesting sandy color. Um, every kind of thing that gets caught in it will show up. So it's just really wonderful to um, feel free like I don't need stuff and I don't have all of the stuff clogging up my skin and I don't have oil staining up my pillow. So um, it's actually it's very fine here. So I'm always accepting and appreciative of my um, texture. My hair does not like to be messed with a lot. It doesn't like a lot of stuff. I used to like wear a lot of shells, which I love. It doesn't like a whole lot of shells or beads. Or lot. So these these little clips I put on here. And I've joined a couple together. But that's it for moisturizing. I make sure I'm sorry. Let's go.
like I said, I have fresh cucumber juice. So please um, feel free to check out uh, my book. And um, you can get a copy at my website, body-culinary.com. Uh, the book is Natural Beauty, No Products. Love your own hair and skin. It's cruelty-free and vegan, which means plant-based from fresh, whole living, unprocessed food. And then I also have whole living foods in the hood with menus to fit your budget. So, and that's part one. So in that book, I'm really dedicated to those folks that always think it's too expensive to eat healthy. Um, I give you several different shopping lists from $20, $17 to a bulk shop for $200 where I'm buying things by the case. So you maybe can find somebody you can share food by the case at a wholesaler even um, if it's not organic and sometimes what you may find is there are some farmers that cannot afford to pay for the pesticides in the sprays so um, once you uh, are used to buying a lot of things from the farmer you develop a relationship um, with the farmer and you can learn more about the food that you're eating you want to do the best that you can with what you have available to you so this is body culinary please subscribe and hit the little bell so you can get a notification whenever i upload um, new videos check out the sister butterfly and sister monkey learn to eat better um, puppet series here on the body culinary channel and i'd love to hear your feedback and what are you doing are you using rose water to moisturize your hair anytime i can cut expenses and buying a whole bunch of products to stick them up underneath my arms and on my hair and on my scalp and on my face i will do it i prefer to use the fresh food so let me know what you think uh, please subscribe and i'll see you soon